You guys, you like to take photos? I'm sure you are. And now I want to tell you about Russia, but I do not want to show you the common facts. What I want to, to show the real Russia from the view of Russian photographers. Uh, for this presentation, I collected several topics and provided them with photos of mine or other Russian photographers whose names you will see near the copyright sign. But these photos, you know, might be grotesque, melancholy, uh, funny, but all of them really con conceptual. Uh, so let's start. For example, on the first slide, you see an old woman uh, with, uh, wearing a red uh, hoodie with double eagle on her back and the title of Russia. And this means that old-fashioned Russia is coming back, uh, clearing the way for the new future Russia. Uh, I took this photo on one of the oppositional rallies. And uh, you know, uh, we need to change our mind to change the country. But this process lasts really long in Russia. Uh, what's our ideology? We don't know. And uh, about 100 years ago, Russian Empire was collapsed. Uh, and uh, which later resulted in Soviet Union formation. Many Russians are still wanted to come back, and one of them is guy look, who looks like Lenin. But there is no X in the history. Uh, the greatness and the mass scale of Soviet building development uh, could give us an utopic impression that we are so tiny in comparison with the system. By system, I mean these large structures on the backstage. Uh, we called it Panelki. Panelki is a uh, multi-story buildings made of prefabricated concrete. Uh, they were really, really cheap to build, and this resulted in fast real estate development in the second half of the 20th century. Um, can you see? Could we have a room for imagination living in these areas? Yes, we have. And now I'll show the real people who live there. Let's start with children. Uh, our children is ordinary. Uh, they like to spend their free time outside playing games, doing sports, yeah. or just yeah. hanging around. But now, as you can see, uh, they are spending more and more time yeah. with their electronic devices. Uh, but it is nevertheless a world tendency. Our men have always been considered like a brave and courage and hard working guys. Uh, most of them are breadwinners and their workload is significantly increasing uh, because they need to keep uh, their families well fed and happy uh, despite of the sanctions and some other problems. They, of course, sometimes drink and smoke after work because they need to relax. Our women are often recognized as the most beautiful in the world. And that's totally true, especially when compared to the women's beauty and this and uh, her surroundings. They are also very industrious and caring. But the main complexity of their life, of their life is they need to, you know, uh, grow children, work, and do some other duties. But the main thing I want you to know is that Russian is a very good people, despite all of the problems, hard living conditions, economical and political situation. And during winter time, life gets particularly cold. Uh, really cold. Are you feeling cold? No. <laughs> uh, so, in the next slide, I want to show our dreamlike weather. Just snow and nothing. Mm, so I have some problems, okay. Uh, this is just the snow and nothing. And I'd say I'd call it the great emptiness, because it's almost nothing. And you may ask me why I'm talking about emptiness, because I say something about past, something about present, but I do not know uh, what to say about future. Really don't know. But I could imagine. Yes, in but I have some concept of our future. It's uh, maybe funny. 
but I'd like to show you. It's something we call cyberpunk. Uh, it's a combination of low life and high tech. So I want to show our combining of our Soviet achievements with uh, some digital features of the future. Uh, for example, on this slide is Soviet car brand Zhiguli uh, floating through the streets like it's Back to the Future movie. And this is our Russian babushka feeding copters, but uh, she not realizing they need energy, not bread. Uh, this is also our famous Russian car brand Was exploring new spaces using a brand new mechanical legs. And this is ordinary Russian man, but with extra hands uh, for additional connectivity. Uh, what I want to say in conclusion is that I hope our future uh, will be much more prosperous uh, than you, you've seen here. We will make Russia great again. Thank <laughs> you.